Everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Inventor Award. To recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who walk amongst us. Hello and welcome, wonderful viewers. Today we'll meet two Shining World Compassion Laureates. Let us first go to Wellington, New Zealand to learn more about Mr. Bill Day and his noble work as the Chairman of Life Flight Trust Wellington Air Rescue Centre. The Life Flight, Life Flight Trust started nearly 30 years ago with Peter Button, who was um, a real hero who started up the rescue helicopter service. We formed this trust and kept it going in his honour, but also to develop the rescue helicopter services and air ambulance services. Currently we've had averaging about 500 um, rescues in the helicopter, and as you've seen in the other hangar, we've got an air ambulance, which is a big aeroplane, and we have another one in Auckland. So we're carrying about a thousand patients there to hospital every year. Uh, the but the main focus is on the helicopter because it does all the rescues, people out in the bush, uh, in the water, uh, and anywhere that just needs uh, yeah, taking to medical care. A large percentage of the aeroplane rescues are to transport premature born babies from remote areas such as Napier to major hospitals like Wellington and Auckland, while helicopter rescues are required for the more risky operations. Where the helicopter's involved, that's much more dangerous because you've got people using the winch, pulling people out of the bush, out of the water, and so on. And what kind of situation do you rescue people from? The helicopter itself is um, predominantly for road accidents. Like people need to be flown very quickly. If we can get people to, to hospital within the first hour of their traumatic or accident, um, they've got a better chance of survival. So where the traffic is jammed up, we can fly them over straight into the hospital. We have two helipads here in Wellington Hospital and um, a new one just being opened just shortly. In order to keep the services operating, the charitable Life Flight Trust Wellington Air Rescue Centre must raise $3.7 million from the public annually. However, the costs are far surpassed by the rewarding gratitude expressed by those who have been touched by the Life Flight Trust's efforts. Mr. John Masters showed his thankfulness by cycling the South Island for six weeks to raise money for the rescue service. John was a, a, a sailor on one of the boats, sailing in a race from England to around the world, and he was coming to New Zealand and he got very ill just off the Chatham Islands, about a two hour flight from New Zealand towards South America. And uh, we flew the helicopter out to the Chatham Islands. We took two aeroplanes out with us, full of fuel. We then flew the aeroplane out to find the boat, which was another 200 kilometers off the Chatham Islands. And then the helicopter flew straight to the boat. They winched him off the boat and flew him back to the Chatham Islands, put him on the plane, and then brought him back to Wellington. A big operation. And um, he's testament to the rescue helicopter. And he was cycling around New Zealand just to show appreciation to raise funds for the, for the trust. The heroic endeavours of the Life Flight Trust Wellington Air Rescue Centre were appreciated by Supreme Master Ching Hai, who recognised the Trust with a Shining World Compassion Award. Dear Mr Day, it is with great pleasure and gratitude that we present to the Wellington Air Rescue Centre of Life Flight Trust 
the Shining World Compassion Award. This award is presented in recognition of the team outstanding life-saving effort, the selfless spirit of service, and enlightened concern for the well-being of others, which create a better future for the community. Thank you, Air Rescue, for uplifting our world with your inspirational example of love in action for selflessly providing for the needs of the injured, for tirelessly working around the clock to protect people, for your vision, medical professionalism, and magnificence benevolence, and for being such courageous and dedicated role models. We hereby applaud and celebrate the compassionate deed of all the team of Life Flight Trust Wellington Air Rescue Center. With great honor, love, and blessing, Ching Hai. I'd just like to say thank you very much for all the support. We rely on the community for the support of the service. Without that support, we just wouldn't survive. So your support today is much appreciated, and we just want to say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Life Flight Trust Wellington Air Rescue Centre. Your work is very honourable and needed indeed. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back with a presentation on the admirable works of the Pastoral Darklienka. Welcome back, vibrant viewers. Let us now travel to the Curitiba, the capital of the state of Paraná in Brazil, home of the Pastoral of the Child. We spoke with the organization's founder, pediatrician Dr. Zilda Arns Newman. She also co-established and is the national coordinator of the Pastoral of the Elderly Person and representative of the National Conference of Brazilian Bishops or CNBB, in the National Board of Health, or CNS, and advisor in the Economic and Social Development Council, or CDES, for the Presidency of the Republic of Brazil. Dr. Newman conveyed the ethical premises upon which the pastoral of the child is built. A pastoral of the child is built by the Também da pastoral da criança é o um trabalho de construção de um mundo melhor, mais justo, mais fraterno, né? The Pastoral of the Child is a non-governmental organization in association with the National Conference of Brazilian Bishops, or CNBB. The group is operated mainly by volunteers who share a brighter vision for the world. O mundo foi assim idealizado por Deus para ser muito harmônico. Se a gente pudesse igualar, o mundo seria muito melhor para todos, não só para os pobres, para os ricos também. Então a pastoral da criança, elas educam as famílias para construir a paz, a começar pelo ser humano no ventre materno, nos primeiros seis anos, a pastoral da criança, porque nos primeiros seis anos se forma o alicerce, não só da saúde, mas dos valores culturais, dos princípios, da personalidade. To realize their goals, the pastoral encourages the naturally wholesome and bonding practice of maternal breastfeeding and introduces disease-reversing methods, such as using oral rehydration salt. It has grown from a national to an international organization that is present in 40,000 communities. The Pastoral of the Child capacita leaders, communities, forma redes de solidariedade humana e essas leaders visitam as mães, as famílias com crianças e gestantes na sua comunidade. São essas visitas para partilhar o conhecimento, o amor fraterno, para educar para a paz e principalmente para prevenir doenças, enfermidades, incompreensões. E também uma vez por mês nós pesamos as crianças, é o dia da celebração da vida. 
quando a comunidade se reúne para ver como estão as crianças na área da, da nutrição, mas também para fortalecer a amizade entre as famílias. In addition to uniting communities and welfare, the pastoral of the child also promotes the health of the planetary home that we all share. É, nós precisamos nos educar para que todos tenham comida saudável, né? Economizar energias, economizar água, ter muito respeito pela água, pelas árvores, pelas plantas, pelo ar, não é? Porque o planeta é o nosso habitat. Todos os, os continentes, todas as religiões, todos os partidos políticos, todos dependem do nosso planeta. Então nós temos que cuidar que esse esteja sempre saudável. Community by community, their efforts are bearing fruit. A mortalidade infantil em Florianópolis é de 27 por mil e no ano de trabalho passou para 28 por mil, 127 para 28. No Brasil, como um todo, era 83 por mil quando começamos a pastoral da criança. E hoje nós estamos com 11 por dia. Para a preservação da, da natureza, se nós conseguirmos ensinar as nossas crianças de um ano e meio, dois anos, respeitar a planta, a água, louvar a Deus pela Mãe Natureza, que ela ame as flores, ame as árvores, naturalmente essa criança vai ter valores culturais, que não vão só ajudar a preservar o planeta, mas vão deixar o mundo muito melhor, mais harmônico. For its caring initiatives, Supreme Master Ching Hai honored the Pastoral of the Child with the Shining World Compassion Award. An excerpt of Supreme Master Ching Hai's letter stated: Promover ativamente a saúde e o bem-estar, especialmente para os desprotegidos por restaurar a dignidade humana e a unidade, por seu humanitarismo magnânimo e por ser um modelo de exemplo de pessoa dedicada e nobre, nós, por meio desta, louvamos e celebramos as grandes ações da doutora Zilda Ars Neumann, pediatra extraordinária e fundadora da Pastoral da Criança. É, eu fico muito comovida de receber um prêmio tão importante e considero assim um reconhecimento uma contribuição que eu, eu dei através de milhares de pessoas que seguiram, vamos dizer, a, a escola da Pastoral da Criança, na construção de um mundo mais justo, mais fraterno. Eu queria agradecer muito e mandar um carinhoso abraço para a mestra e dizer que foi com muita alegria que eu recebi o prêmio. Que o mundo seja melhor, que as pessoas, desde essa concepção, para elas serem promotoras da paz, da justiça e da igualdade entre todos. Muito obrigada. Dr. Zilda Arns Newman offers a message for our global audience, particularly those of the younger generation. 25 anos que a gente está partilhando com a, com a pobreza, vendo que as mães estão aprendendo, estou mais feliz. Eu não, 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 fico, não fiquei mais pobre, eu fiquei muito mais rica em amor. Então, eu gostaria de dizer para os jovens que eles ajudem a transformação no mundo, principalmente cuidando da, da cordialidade, do respeito, da solidariedade, da fraternidade, porque vocês vão sentir muito bem você sendo sementes de paz. O que o mundo mais precisa é de solidariedade humana, de fraternidade, de respeito, né? Isso tem que ser construído na criança já muito pequenininha. Então, o desenvolvimento tem que ser não só da saúde física, mas um desenvolvimento também mental, espiritual, que dê, assim, à criança a sensação de segurança e que o amor é a coisa mais importante na vida da gente. Mr. Bill Day, Dr. Zilda Arns Newman, all honored members of the Life Flight Trust Wellington Air Rescue Center and the Pastoral of the Child, we are grateful for your dedicated efforts to help uplift our world. 
May God continue to bless you as you bring hope and wellness for an era of tender kindness. For more on Life Flight Trust, please visit www.lifelight.org.nz or contact info at lifelight.org.nz. For more on Pastoral of the Child, please visit www.pastoral.krienka.org.br. Altruistic viewers, thank you for your presence on today's program. Up next on Supreme Master Television is Words of Wisdom, after Noteworthy News. May your life be blessed with the benevolent light of the Divine. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.